three forward. As I'm letting go of uh, forward, I'm pressing three and vice versa. So, one, two, three, three forward, one. One, two, three, three forward, one. So, practice that for a while. And then, try this. One, two, three, three forward, three forward, one. One, two, three, three forward, three forward, one. One, two, three, three forward, three forward, one. <coughs> um, what else? Right, also, you can do what I've been showing you now. You can do this from any, anything that gets them into Flamingo. So you've got the one, three forward, sorry, no, sorry, two, three forward, one, two, two, three forward, one, two, three forward, one. Or from this one. Let's just set him to guard all quickly. Ah, uh, you got this. Now this may seem very basic at the moment, uh, but that's good. You know, that's that's a good place to start, obviously. Um, okay, what else? Um, so, or you could just do this. Um, forward three into Flamingo. And then one. Um, this move actually crushes quite a lot. It has a duck and a small sidestep. Uh, just that forward three. It's actually a very helpful move. It's good for putting that quick jab in. Because if they try to do a high move, there's a good chance that's going to avoid it. And then you can put the jab in, get your frame advantage, and start applying pressure. Okay. Um, so, I suppose I should really go for all the different moves in Flamingo. Obviously, he's got this one I've showed you. Uh, the forward, forward, three forward. So three forward, three forward, three forward, three forward, etc. Uh, he's got down back four, which is a good low. And we can do all this from any way of getting into Flamingo, that'll work. Um, he's got forward four. Uh, not a bad move, but if you do uh, forward four three, uh, so if you do four three in that, the second one is a high and it can be ducked and punished, and it frequently is. Um, what else? Oh, it's really hard doing a tutorial. I, I just usually do the moves without thinking about it. It's really hard when you have to, and you have to try and explain it. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, forward three. While you're in Flamingo, you hold forward and just press the three. And that lands you back in Flamingo so you can carry on. Uh, what I would recommend with this move, forward three, if they block, follow up with a jab. Because it lands you completely neutral. So nobody gets a frame advantage. So there's a good chance your opponent's going to try and jab you. Um, so if you jab first, what will happen is you'll exchange hits and you'll both receive a very tiny amount of damage. Uh, if you try anything other than a 10 frame jab and your opponent jabs, you're going to get hit and he's going to have the advantage. So yeah, obviously on hit, it stuns on counter and it knocks down on hit. So it's, it's safe either way on hit. You can get a full juggle on counter. Um, what else? Uh, oh yeah, you've got the flamingo switch, but we'll go into that later. Uh, what else, what else, what else? I'm trying to think. Oh yeah, and also back three, which is a tracking move and an armor move. Uh, very helpful. It is, I think it's minus 12 or minus 13 on block. So it's not launch punishable, but if you abuse it, you will get punished for it. So this is good to use against opponents that are ducking or sidestepping a lot. Um, but that's from left flamingo. We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, sorry, that's from right flamingo. And we'll get to that in a minute.
well, from left and right, but um, yeah, we'll get to that. <coughs> um, what else have I done that? Uh, right, you've got Left Flamingo 2, which is a mid punch. Which is, um, oh, my phone's ringing, hold on. Right, yeah, you got um, Forward 2 from Left Flamingo, which is. Uh, it, it stay from block, but you don't really get a frame advantage, so you best, if they block, you want to immediately guard afterwards. Um, on hit, you get a small frame advantage, usually I follow it up with forward three, which again pushes you into left flamingo. <coughs> okay, so let's do some mix-ups from right flamingo now. Different ways of getting into right flamingo. Oh. Forward four. Uh, was it? Yeah, forward four. Um, two four. Uh, one two four. Uh, up back three four. So remember, I showed you the up back three three. Well, if you do up back three four, it's lands them in the opposite side of Flamingo and the second one is a mid rather than a high. Okay, what else? Um, oh god, my mind's gone blank. Oh yeah, and if you go into left stance, sorry, right stance, right foot forward, uh, you can also do 3-4, which also pushes into uh, right Flamingo. Uh, again, I'm pretty sure there's another way, but yeah, it's not, I'm drawing a blank right now. Right, so let's try some mix-ups using left stance, right stance. Oh no, actually, actually no, I'll, I'll tell you some more moves in the stance. Right, so from, we're going to do some right stance and right flamingo mix-ups now. So if you change to right stance, you've got down forward four, which is a good mid, good poke. Uh, also, if you hold forward afterwards, that also pushes it into Flamingo. Into right Flamingo. Ah, yeah, and in this dance, just forward four will also push into Flamingo. Again, that has some uh, high crush properties. It doesn't seem as good as this one, though. I have a much higher success rate when I do it from his standard stance. That still has its uses, but yeah, don't go relying on it. Um, okay, so from Flamingo on, on uh, right Flamingo, you've got forward four, two. Three, four, two. Uh, forward three, one. which lands you back in normal stance. Or you can do forward three, three forward. Oh, you've got two, four. And if you hold forward on that one after the four, push it into Flamingo. So what you can do here, if your opponent's not ducking, and especially if they're against a wall, um, you can just hold forward, do the 2-4 and then hold forward, and while you're holding forward, you can just keep spamming 2-4 basically. I'm not letting go of forward. My, my thumbs on forward all the time here, I haven't, still haven't let go of forward, you can just spam that forever. But obviously if they duck, um, you're going to get punished. It's, it's easily punishable if they duck. So only use that against the low ranks. Um, what else? We've got forward three, three. Which, remember if they block, you want to use the jab. Um, OK, 
Okay, uh, also to get into that stance, you've also got um, <clears throat> uh, down 3 4, which also is one of his mains. Let's uh, set this. Uh, that's a natural combo, so if you hit the low, you're guaranteed the high. So from there, you can go down forward 4 2 into the other one we showed you. 3 4 2. So you got down forward 4 2. Uh, sorry, uh, down 3 4 2. Although it's worth noting that on Tekken 7, it pushes them back, so the jab. If you go for the jab straight away, it will miss. You have to kind of hesitate ever so slightly with the jab. Um, but on hit, that doesn't really matter. Um, because they're probably not going to try to hit you if you've already hit them with that. So yeah, that takes you into the right flamingo. So from there, we can go... Remember that kick I told you about? 2-4. So, oh yeah, also from right flamingo, uh, from left flamingo, you've got this. That's rather than down 3-4, it's just 3-4. So you have flamingo and then 3-4. And you can switch flamingo stances with both kicks, 3 plus 4, while you're already in flamingo. Um, so you could go... 3, 4, switch back, 3, 4, switch back, 3, 3, 4, switch back, 3, 3, oh, yeah, it's really hard to play and do it at the same time, and talk at the same time. So this is just what I've shown you so far, so you got, the way you transition between stances is very important with Warring. You know, um, some people, I see them, when they want to get into a different stance, they'll just stand there and they'll do, and they'll do that. Which, yeah, it, it works, you can do it, um, but it lets your opponent know that you're about to try something. You know, it, when I'm seeing a foreign player and he's moving around, as soon as he does that and then stops twitching, like stops moving around, I know he wants to try something. So I'll just hold back and I'll wait for a punish, you know, or, or just a block, whatever. You know, but yeah, so to transition to the other stance, I'd recommend doing something like that because it applies pressure, forcing them to guard and think. Whereas, you know, if I just go like that and then just start going back and forward like some people do, people just know that you're, you're up to something. You know, they know you want to try something and they're just going to be careful. So yeah, I'd recommend transitioning like that. So, let's do some transitions. You've got one, two, three forward. One, two, three forward, change. Two, four, forward. One, two, three forward, change. Two, four, forward. So. Whoops. <laughs> One, two, three. Three forward. Switch. Two, four. Forward. <clears throat> uh, also, he has that mid, which is down forward four from right flamingo, which gives you a launch arm punish. Uh, a punish gives you a launch on hit. Although I very rarely use it anymore, so I forget what you can do from it. There you go. There's something very basic. But anyway. Um, yeah, what else? Um, he has... Already, uh, yeah, let's try some more with a switch. You've got down forward four, uh, down forward three, four. And then you can switch and keep repeating that. Oh, you got down forward, three, four, switch, three forward. And then you can just keep repeating the three forward. Maybe you have to take your fingers off the three and the forward simultaneously. You can't press them at the same time because that will happen. 
which it is a good move, but it lands you at neutral, so you lose any advantage. Um, okay, so yeah, you got the down forward three four. Um, also, from the uh, from this stance, if you go forward three down three four, you do that. So yeah, that's a good one to practice actually. Let's go switch dances. Actually, no, you don't need to. You don't need to switch dances. You can go down three, four, two. Right. Down three, four, two. And then forward three, down three, four. So one, two, three, one, two, three. So yeah, try that. Down three, four, two. And then forward three, down three, four, two. Oops, so yeah, 4 3 down 3 4 2. 4 3 down 3 4 2. So. <coughs> so yeah. 4 down 3 4. Right, so yeah, practice that for a bit. So if I do that into that, you can do a low or a mid for that. This is exactly the same, just without the down. So this you've got forward three down three, and this is just forward three three. So forward three three four two. Stop him guarding so you can see that. Yeah, remember that jab. Um, that's why sometimes when I do this now, on Tekken Tag 2, you can do that jab all day. You know, that was a really good move to use, but now they've, they've nerfed it a little bit, so you can't use that. So what I usually do, if I'm, do if I'm going for the um, down forward three, down forward three, four, I'll switch and do it again, and then maybe change to the mid. Or maybe just switch once and then change to the mid. Uh, oh yeah, there's another way of getting into the right flamingo. Um, you've got down back 4-4, four, four, which I never really use the full move. If you just press down back 4, you then press forward and it will push him into flamingo. You can press back as well, but I don't like that because it moves him away. So yeah, down back 4, fo hold forward, and then you're in right flamingo, which is the one where you can do that from. So yeah, oh uh, what else, uh, da, 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 da. Um, think, 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 think. So yeah, the uh, down forward four mix up. You've got down forward four and then hold forward into Flamingo. And that, remember this one I showed you? It's that just without the, uh, just holding down forward for the first kick and then forward again, like this one, that one's just two four forward. Oh, sorry, that one, yeah, two four forward. This one's just down forward four, two forward. Uh, sorry, down forward, oh, all right, let me start this, this one again. It's down forward four, and then forward, and then two. So, down forward four, forward, two. Down forward four, forward, two. Um, so yeah, you can go from say Also from the um, From this one you can do a double mid so down forward 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 and then just forward again uh, Sorry, then just four again So Also if you hold forward you can do that which is eight frames, so it's good for um you can spam it until they duck, basically. They're not going to be able to interrupt you, even if they're blocked. If they're blocking and then they try to interrupt, they can't. All you can do with this really is duck. Because, um, yeah, eight frames is ridiculous. So, yeah, so if a foreign player is doing this to you, uh, just duck. And. Oh. Duck and punish. 
Uh, so yeah, let's let's do a few mix-ups with what I've shown you so far. So you've got, I'll do some from the down forward four, uh, for, from the down back four, down back four. Okay, so that's down back four forward two, and then down forward four forward two again. So. Also from the two, if you press back four, you get this, which is a natural combo. So if, if the punch hits, then the kick guaranteed. So let's try that. Hang on, my phone's ringing, give me one sec. Hey dude, I'm doing a tutorial at the minute. Do you wanna just come up? Oh, it's in a bit. But okay, right. What was I doing? What was I doing? Oh yeah, right. So yeah, um, I mean it's, it's mainly low and high. You've got one mid in there to make them think twice about ducking. <coughs> but uh, yeah, that, that's just one example. Oh, we can try this. Into Flamingo again. Also, it's worth noting, when you're pushing to Flamingo, you've got that grab, which I believe is 3-2. Uh, yeah. So if you use... Um, so you use that to get into Flamingo, right? 2-3. If you keep hold of the three, right now I'm still holding the three and then press two, he'll do that. That's an easy way of doing that grab. <clears throat> also, if you hit this on a counter, you get the grab for free. I'll show you what I mean by that. Watch, watch the health bar. See that? That was a two hit combo there for 71 damage. Oh, well, I'm in rage, so I think it does more, but yeah, if you hit that as a counter, you get the free grab. And I'll show you if um, try and get him to duck the grab. Oops. Oh, okay, it's not free by mistake. Oh, hang on, maybe it is. Hang on. Oh, okay, it's not free. It's only free if they try to guard. Right. Okay, ignore, ignore what I said there. It's not free at all. But for some reason, on standing, it's uh, it, it comes up as a combo. So I thought it was free. My mistake. I don't think it does that normally, does it? No. Right, anyway, never mind. So, um, what was I doing? Yeah, so let's try some from this side now so you've got back three four into the other stance uh, no so not back three four back four forward two back four forward two back four forward two and then forward three three forward and then you can do the jab to finish one four three three forward one Back four forward. Back four forward. Two. Four three three forward one. Um, I would recommend also practicing this for a while um, because when opponents are crouching, this is my go-to move. Like, yeah. A lot of people will see I'm using a lot of highs and they'll try to time a crouch. So yeah, where I was doing this, I might do a couple of mids instead of just one. Like that. That's another good one to practice as well against, against opponents who aren't ducking, uh, this one. That's forward four from normal stance. So forward four, two, forward three, one. 
Forward, forward, two, forward, three, one. Forward, forward, two, forward, three, one. So, yeah. Obviously, that switches stance as well. Notice, so if you do forward, forward, two, you're in that stance. And then if you do forward, three, one, you're back in that stance. Right, um... So, uh, yeah, let's try that. So, down four three switch. Uh, what do I keep doing that? Sorry, ignore that. Down three four switch. Three forward, three forward, three forward. Down three four switch. Three forward, three forward, three forward. Remember that switch is both kicks when you're in flamingo. So, switch, forward, 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 uh, three, forward, three, forward, three, forward. And then to get out of it is the one. Oh yeah, also this is a really good, uh, good setup as well. I think I might have shown you this, but two, three, one. Um, you get a good frame advantage on hit, uh, a small frame advantage on block. So uh, even if they block, if they don't duck, you can go into another double jab. Um, another good setup is forward two, and if that hits, or if they block, you want to guard because it's uh, it's safe on block, but it's not, you know, you don't get an advantage. Oh, no counter. Um, yeah, so forward two and then down forward four, forward two for that. If it hits. On hit, that. But also as well, when you're in this stance, um, surprisingly how many people don't know about this. Uh, guard, or if I set him to guard everything. Oh, what am I doing counter? Right, yeah. Um, oh, no, I want him to guard all. Ah. Right. So, no, he's on guard all. I can't hit him. Right, now, if you go in this stance and then forward, forward, four, three. Oops. You get a free two back four afterwards if they block it. Obviously, good players are going to look out for it. But, uh, yeah, the, the ones who aren't so good, you can just hit them with that all day. So, yeah. Forward, forward, four, three in the other stance. Oh, let's just stand. Okay, um, that's going to wrap it up for this video, but uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, depending on the response I get to this one, I may put up another one and I will actually do, um, <clears throat> I'll write a lot of things down before I start, so I'll be able to do it much more in depth and I won't have to keep trying to remember everything. But yeah, this is just a little tip on some of his mix-ups. Um, remember, it's all about the stance transitions. It's knowing, <clears throat> I'd recommend going into Hoarang's move list and just looking at every single move so you know, um, you know, so you know where, where the transitions are, what they do. Just, just familiarize yourself with his move list, as with any character. Learn their moves, so if you see someone do a move, rather than having to go and look at it in the move list yourself, you can just say, oh, I know how he did that. You know, um, so yeah, learn the move list. Practice a few bits I've shown you, and uh, if it gets a positive response, I'll do a much better quality video in the future. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope this helps even just one person. You know, <laughs> that's good.